Not CrossFit here with another video. You're welcome. Today we're going to be doing another installment of the Gym Etiquette series. And today we're going to be talking about gym attire. Why are you coming to the gym with flip flops? With your nasty toes hanging out. It's gross. Why, why are you working out in that collared Bless you. polo? Why are you working out in cargo pants? I Timberlands, what are you, uh, <laughs> are, you, are you in a club? No. <laughs> well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I mean, what, are you going to boot stomp somebody for not spotting you? It doesn't make any sense. You know, you're going to hop on the treadmill with your Tims on. You're afraid you're going to drop a weight on your toe? You need, you need some steel tips? I don't think so. I mean, just some, some sneakers or tennis shoes, whatever you want to call them. Put them on. <laughs> uh, they, what kills me, though, is like the flip-flops, people yeah. wearing sandals. Like It's not safe. It's you, not safe. I mean, even if a two and a half pound weight falls on your foot, it's going to hurt. A lot. I mean, I've had a 25 pound plate fall on my foot before. I had shoes on. <clears throat> Still up to mark, but if I would have been wearing flip-flops, sandals, a thong, Birkenstocks, any of those. Do you know? <laughs> do you know what, Jesus James. Do you know what would have happened? I would have split my, split my foot open. There would have been blood everywhere. Uh, I could have nicked an artery. It would have been bad. It would have been real bad. Shoes saved my life. Tennis shoes. And, uh, you know, some of the ladies yes, like let, to... Let's not forget, there are children that work out at gyms. Maybe not children, but in the age of uh, impressionable, to impressionable 17. Impressionable young people. We'll call them with your... Oh, just... With your, your boobies with are all hanging out. This and your... And your and your butt cheeks, bottom butt cheek. Just hanging out all I mean, nasty. It's so gross. I know your husband paid for your new <clears throat> your new tatas, but you don't have to show them off. People can tell you have new tatas, even even in a t-shirt. If you want to show a little cleavage, that's that's okay. It's it's quite all right. But when you can almost see a nipple, which we have seen, seen quite a few times, almost nipple, and, and I don't sometimes. I don't want to say on camera if we have or not, but he probably has. I don't look because I'm married. I don't look either you just see it because he has a serious i've got super he's almost vision. married oh yeah whoa. i went there underwear wear underwear ladies yeah. nobody wants to be, nobody wants to see you on that on the uh abductor and abductor with a freaking camel toe <laughs> or guys a moose knuckle what's going on what's going on i mean with some tights on underneath there yeah. you know i can't i can't work out with my <laughs> junk just out here no. willy nilly -in. if i Think I see your ball hanging out? Your shorts are probably too short, dude. I'm just saying, you're not you're not running a marathon at the gym. Or about buddy who came in with no shirt on, just <laughs> no shirt. I don't I don't think he knew where he was though, so we'll let that we'll slide. let that slide. But um, yeah, dude, guys, if your shorts are too short, if you have a belly shirt on and you're a guy, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't if, do if it. If you have um. Don't do Some it. tank tops that these, these guys wear, they're almost to the point where there's nothing at all. And that goes back to the last gym etiquette video we did about sweat. sweat. Oh. You need to have something on covering your body. I mean, you, it just... I mean, between your skin and the apparatus you're using? Yeah. Mm. Would you go to church in that? I mean, I don't go to church because I'm Jewish, but... I don't go to church because well, I don't go to church. <laughs> So just be conscious of what you wear to the gym and just know that there's always going to be somebody there who may not feel comfortable with you wearing a certain clothing because of how it makes you look. It may make them feel uncomfortable, self-conscious, <clears throat> or if you... Or for safety reasons. For reason. safety reasons, you can't wear certain <clears throat> things like heels um, and flip-flops. So if, again, if any of you have any, any stories about people's attire, which I know... I know there's people out there who have stories. Tons and of them. Tons of stories. We have stories all day about about what people wear. Also, uh, cuss words on your shirt. Don't do it. Like I'd fuck me. Come on, really? Really? That that's 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 a stupid shirt. It's true. But anyway, just like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your coworkers. Not CrossFit. Peace. You're welcome. Respectfully. No nip slips. Unless you want to. Not.
CrossFit. You're welcome.